the world of automated AI agents have got a huge upgrade thanks to Hugging Face. Today we have got something called Transformers Agent. All you have to do is agent dot run and give your instruction. And this agent is going to run the entire code for you and generate the final output, which you can see. You don't have to do anything else at all. There are certain caveats, but still this is completely leap forward in terms of programming. And we are going to discuss Transformers agent in this video in complete detail. We'll end the video with this hands on Google collab where I'll take you every single step for you to run this on your own machine. To start with, what are we even talking about? We are talking about something called Transformers agent. Transformers agent is a completely new effort from Hugging Face who already has a very popular library called Transformers. So Transformers agent is an experimental API which is subject to change at any time. Results written by the agents can vary as the APIs or underlying models are prone to change. At this point, you would have got an idea about what this model is. But if you have not, that's exactly why you are here. Starting from the Transformers version V2 4.2.29.0, there is a new concept of tools and agents. So the concept is called tools and agents. So what is happening here is, in short, it provides a natural language API on top of Transformers. So Hugging Face has have has created a set of curated tools and design an agent. So they, they've defined a set of tools and has designed an agent to interpret the natural language input from the users and use these tools to solve a particular problem. For example, you can go there and then simply say agent.run and give, for example, the caption for the following image and give the image and it is going to caption the image for you. Or on the other hand, you can go and say, agent dot run read the following text out loud and give the text and it can a beaver is swimming in the water a beaver is it can read it for you and in the same way you can go give an input document and then say in the following document where will the trrf scientific advisory council meeting take place and it can read the document do ocr optical character recognition for you and it can find the answer which is I think ballroom flyer, some, yeah, ballroom fire, and it can give you the answer. So this entire thing is happening because you ran only one line of code from Hugging Face Transformers. So what's happening under the hood? Like how is this magical thing happening? And that's exactly what we are going to understand from this particular piece here. So what is happening here is the instruction that you give here, for example, draw a picture of lakes and rivers, draw me a picture of lakes and rivers that's an instruction the human being is going to give the machine now that instruction is translated into this big prompt you can see this big prompt so that instruction is translated into this big prompt thanks to some large language model and now there are a set of tools that the hugging face team has already curated which is made available for people to use like or the large language model to use now that goes inside a restricted python interpreter which can say, okay, this is the instruction that I received from the human. And this is how this has been translated as a task. And the agent, the large language model knows that these are the tools that you can use to come up with this result. For example, if the instruction says, read out loud the content of the image, then the agent knows I will use image captioner to caption the image. Then I can use text to speech to read it loud. So you can see, that there are two tools used by this agent and that goes inside the Python interpreter. And then finally the generation output is happening. It's the same thing that happens when you say, draw me a picture of rivers and lakes. So that, that becomes a prompt and the agent knows you have to create something like an image generation. So it uses image generation that goes inside the Python interpreter and that comes out finally as an image, just like we saw in the collab notebook where you can just give an instruction. You can say agent dot run, draw me a picture of an astronaut riding a horse. So the explanation from the agent is I will use the following tool. In this case, an image generator to generate an image according to the given prompt. And this is the prompt code generated by the agent. So it says image is equal to image generator and the prompt is astronaut riding a horse. And the result is the image is successfully been generated to you. And this is the series of steps that Hugging Face is doing for you or Transformers Agent. So now Transformers Agent 
is a wrapper or a high level API that combines tools and agents. So these tools and agents are going to help you use your natural language, which means like in simple English, you can describe something and the agent and the tools are going to get this done for you. How is this happening? Like even, even though we know the state of execution and the workflow and the architecture, let's look at how this is happening. So the agent here is a large language model, just like your open AIs, um, large models like GPT-3, GPT-3.5, GPT-4 or uh, open assistant. So these kind of large language models are acting as agents here. And uh, the tools here are the tools that Hugging Face team has curated, just like we saw before. So these could be anything to do with, uh, let's say, text generation or image generation or uh, image captioning. Um, any of these things could be tools. So we have set of tools and uh, we have a set of agents. So you can choose which agent you want to use. But now that agent will read the instruction and then create this prompt and then design the, the tools or pick the tools that they have to use and send it to the Python interpreter, which finally does the code execution. And uh, that's, that's how you finally get the result. What kind of tools are available? If document question and answering, text question and answering, unconditional image captioning, caption the image, image question and answering, image segmentation, speech to text, text to speech, zero shot text classification, text summarization, translation. And these tools can be also loaded. Like if you are using transformers without the agent, these tools can be also loaded very simply and easily for you to do anything in case, like if you want to approach this programmatically, this is completely mind boggling, mind blowing. It's, it's, I'm quite excited about this thing. That's, that's one of the reason why I decided to make a video just in a few hours after this has been launched. The only caveat here is that if you want to use open AI agent, you need to set your API key, which I'll show in the Google Colab notebook, but also you have an app, you, you have an option to use big code or open assistant. Hugging face at this point is give you, giving you free API access to both big code and open assistant. So if you do not want to use open AI, you can log in with your hugging face account and use either big code or open assistant. If you feel that you don't want to use open AI. My Google Colab notebook does not cover this different LLMs. If you want to use those different LLMs and if you have any issue, please let me know in the comment section, I can help you. But overall, Transformers agent is an amazing achievement. Um, it's, it's almost like if you know that few weeks back, we did a tutorial called Microsoft Jarvis or Hugging GPT. This is almost like that and uh, it's quite amazing, mind boggling. So now let's start with the tool. So this Google Colab notebook will be linked in the YouTube description, which means all you have to do is go click here. You'll be taken to this notebook. You can just go set the key API key. After you set the API key, you can just select runtime and run all, and this will ideally work for you. So now let's start with the basic setup. You have to install transformers. Then you need to install open AI. If you want to use open AI as an LLM, then use accelerate because some of the models that they are going to suggest you require accelerate. And in this particular example, I'm going to focus on image creation. So I need to install diffusers library as well. So transformers, because we want to use transformers agent, open AI, because we want to use GPT as an LLM accelerate, um, is for accelerated computing couples with transformers diffusers, primarily for image generation and make sure that you have got the right version of transformers. If you're watching this tutorial from the future, you know, for sure that you need at least four point. 29.0. This is the minimum version for this thing to work. If you have any version before this, this code will not work for you. I'm sorry to say that. The next thing is set up the API key for open AI. If you have decided to use open AI API key, import open AI, import OS and OS dot environment, then you can set the environment variable here, which is the open AI API key. OpenAI API key is um, available in OpenAI account. Like if you just go to platform.open platform.openai.com, there you can actually go find the API key inside API keys or a, you know managing account. So get the API key and paste it here. You should be good enough. If you don't want to use it, you can use other open source LLMs, which I'm not covering here. Let me know in the comments if you want a separate tutorial for that. Once you have done, you are like pretty set with the basic setup. 
next you need to do is you need to create an agent so you need to create an agent create an agent so what are we doing here we are saying from transformers import open a agent import open a is not required because we have already done it agent is equal to open ai agent and what is that open ai model that you want to use text davinci oo3 is the model we are going to use if you want to use a different model you can give the model details here run that after you run that you are going to be amazed because you are now in for a treat all you have to do is agent dot run and then say draw me a picture of whatever you want to draw say rivers and lakes for the first time it is going to download all the models and it's going to locally execute so the thing that you need to remember here is the llms are accessed through apis so if we go back to the same workflow chart again let me quickly show you the llms make the decision by using the llms as an api but ultimately when this code executes this code executes inside the python interpreter so which means if you're going to give a request that requires gpu then this code needs you to run it on gpu so that's exactly why if you see this google collab notebook go to runtime click change runtime i've created this a google collab notebook as a gpu notebook primarily because when we are trying to run image generation it's going to actually run on gpu so you need so again to repeat it the llms happen through api but the actual code execution happens on the machine where you run this if you're going to run this on your local machine so you're going to run on your local machine which means you need that kind of computation and power for this code to get executed so that's exactly why we are running this on a gpu google collab so say agent or run draw me a picture of rivers and lakes for the first time it creates the explanation which comes from the agent in this case llm open ai llm i will use the following tool image generator to generate an image according to the prompt image is equal to image generator prompt draw me a picture of rivers and lakes and it downloads all the models and it generates you the image of rivers and lakes and you can say agent dot run draw me a picture of astronaut riding a horse and it can generate astronaut riding horse if you want to see what code it uses so you can say okay written code is equal to true when you run this code it actually creates whatever you want but also it gives you the code so it can give you the code so you can copy this code um, quite simply and then run this on your own so that that would make it easier for you to do this programmatically or make any changes that you want and uh, as a note this is not only for image generation because like i said there are a lot of tools agents that they have put together so it's not necessarily only for image generation but it can do a lot of other things like document question and answering image question and answering image segmentation the another aspect here is you can also chat with this so it's not just you can always run this you can also chat with this so let's go ahead and then do a quick chat so i can say agent dot chat and then i can say draw me a picture of um, an astronaut let's do the same thing astronaut did i type it properly now astronaut riding a horse and run this so at this point i'm trying to chat with this so i'm saying draw me a picture of an astronaut riding a horse what happens in chat is it remembers the state it remembers the output of the first whatever chat you had so it's an astronaut riding a horse okay so now i can do another agent dot chat i can say um can you change the can you change that horse to a car so ideally what we are expecting is that this should understand that this is the input picture and this should understand that in the picture we have a horse and we wanted to change it to a car uh, it started downloading new models and um, that's that's one of the reason why you can see it is downloading i'm going to stop the code here but the way you can run this probably is um, i can say draw me a picture of draw me a picture of a horse instead of a car run this and let's see if it changes and it's a very similar like for example you can say generate a picture of rivers and lakes and you can say transform the picture so that there is a rock in there so you can see this picture and it transformed there is a rock in there so it transformed it's uh, it's not completely 
perfect at this point even like this entire uh, thing if you see um, all these things are not super perfect at this point but the fact is that it can do like pretty much in single line of instruction you can again go with complicated instructions a complex set of instructions a multi layer instructions like with agent or chat but the fact that it can create something for you with just natural language input you can say agent dot run and give this or you can say agent dot run uh, translate this line of text from english to tamil some language um, or you can say agent dot run is this uh, sent do a sentiment analysis for me based on this input text so all these things are possible okay it and it actually transformed a horse into something i don't know um, it it has done something but you can see that it has still tried to take the input image and then it tried to do something on top of it it's not perfect but i think it's it's an wonderful development given like this is the first version that it has been launched a lot of changes would come definitely but the fact that transformers agent exists makes me really happy because we saw what hugging gpt could do we saw what microsoft jarvis could do and microsoft jarvis and hugging gpt in a way was doing actually this like they got access to this entire ecosystem of hugging face models and try to leverage that with a large language model in the center that communicates everything and exactly what hugging face transformers or transformers has done and you can also look at their own google collab notebook their example or you can refer to my google collab notebook which i'll link it in the youtube description overall this is an impressive piece once again hugging face team has made something completely amazing possible for anybody to use very easily thanks to hugging face team see you in another video happy prompting